Okay, so welcome back to my adventures in Thailand. Today I am going to be trying to put down a, a hydroponic system with room for 200 plants. And uh, I'm just going to make it up as I go along. I've never put one of these together before in my life. I've never really done any plumbing, but we're using plumbing rod and stuff. Let me turn the camera around, I'll show you what I'm doing. This is what I'm starting off with. These bits here I've bought especially for this project. I've got cutters, tape measure, pen. This is a box of old bits and you know spare bits I haven't used or bought. There's five lengths of two and a half, ten lengths of half inch, and one length of one inch. That's what I'm starting with. Okay. I'm gonna let it out on the floor first to see how it goes, and then we'll go from there. Try and glue them together after that. hydroponic system that we're going to be doing I think I'm going to give it a rest for today but um, yeah these ends will all be joined up that one will be joined up to there and that one there will be joined up to there and this one here will go to a return we'll have holes all down here in the middle and again this one will go to this one and this one will go to this one and that will go somewhere else but anyway, that's it. That's the start of the uh, hydroponic system. There we go. See you tomorrow. Okay, so we've got the frame finished and done and uh, five pipes, the main pipes, put on. I don't think it's going to be sturdy enough. It's very rickety and uh, once it's got a load of water in it, it's going to, I don't know if it's going to collapse, but it's, um, it, it needs strengthening. So we're going to strengthen the uh, frame Maybe I'm going to put some uh, more pipe in here. Maybe a couple more in there. I think if we made these out of uh, metal, it would be much better. I'm buying a welder and uh, we're going to buy some metal. So I'm going to learn how to weld. And uh, so watch this space for that video. There'll be a welding video soon enough. But for now, we've got these pipes. This is half inch pipe, not very strong. Maybe could have used a, a, a thicker pipe. We try to do things on a budget, so um, Trying to keep things down, it's more of an experiment than anything else. So um, now that we've got the frame ready, we need to put the holes in this pipe. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, these little cups, these egg cups. Um, and we're going to germinate the seeds in a little bit of media of some foam of some sort. Put the foam in there, and uh, once it started growing, and then these will go in the holes. Now, I've cut these holes already, I'll show you how I did them in a minute. But these, these will just pop in here, the water will run through, 
the roots will um, uh, go down and, and get all the nutrients from the water and everything. And that's how it's going to work, basically. These pipes, luckily, have a line through them already, showing you like a straight line. But if you don't, you have to ping a line or get some sort of way of um, uh, finding your centre. You don't want them off, you know, off centre. Um, here's one I did earlier. These are 150 hole centres, which will give me a coverage of 150. I don't know how much cow's going to be. Like I said before, it's, this is really um, like a, all experimental. So we're going to do one, see if it works. And then if it does, learn from that and then do another one, maybe do two, three or four more and, um, and go from there. Um, to cut the holes, I've just bought this thing here, hole cutter. Okay, so I, I mark these up. So I mark this one up, so I pre-drilled them with a smaller 3 mil bit and then I've gone through with this one here. Okay, so drilling these holes pretty simple. I'm going to pre-drill it with this one here, because this one here is quite thick. This one's about 6 mil, this one's about 3. Okay, so to go through it initially, pre-drill with a smaller drill bit, go through them all, like that. Alright, then... I'm going to use this one here, a hole cutter. Start going through, and then... Well, I'm not pushing too hard, I'm not going to get it stuck. I want to go nice and easy. There you go. Through. Take that out, go on to the next one. Okay, that's that simple. Go run through them all. a bit of sandpaper around an old bit of thin, thinner pipe obviously than the hole and giving it a once over, go inside, all around, make them nice, so there's, uh, make them nice and burless. So I've cut half a section of the pipe and I'm using that as a little bracket. I've put two screws in it just to hold it in place, to hold it in the right place. So, easy enough. All right, so it's all ready to go. Just got to connect the water up and the discharge. Get the pump going. And we're ready. Okay, so I played around with this last night. Didn't film it because it was too dark. Lots of flying things around and stuff. But this is what I've done. I've put these bits on, connecting here. This is where the pump goes to. So down there. That's the water pump. It's going to pump water up there, through there. Hopefully this is around here, up to here. Up, along here, down down all around until we come back to this one here and that is then going to return the water back into the pot hopefully now what i'm thinking is these these where i've used reducers here i'm hoping and i think that um basically that much there of water is going to fill up in each of these before 
it comes down to here and overflows and starts coming through here. And then this one I'll have to fill up. And then again, again, again. So it's going to take quite a while for it to fill up and start trickling out the other side. So I'm going to now turn it on for the first time. Drum roll, please. So let's get the plug. See if it works. All right. I think the fan's making some movements. It's vibrating at least. Okay. All right, let's see if some water. So, so this pipe here's got to fill up first. Then that's got to fill up. And this has got to fill up. I don't know if it's going to be that easy to. Oh, we've got water already. There we go. There's water coming through there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Let me try and do a close up. Yeah, there you go. There's water. Water coming through. Get in there. Right, so none through the second one yet, though. Okay, but that's water in the first one straight away. Now, this is going to have to fill up, I think. Until. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, man. That doesn't look good. Okay, let's see what's happening here. See what's happening. Okay, so that is filling up. So this is filling up. It's filled up, filled up, filled up, so that now the water's coming through here. Yeah. Okay, we've obviously got issues down there with the pump, but um, maybe... Blown, oh, maybe I've got to turn something. Ah, oh. oh, I know what's happening. We're running out of water, and that's coming out of there. Okay, so we know it's working so far. I'm going to turn it off and try and fix this pump, then come back to you. Okay, there's my little cap. So. We've got it in all of the... Aha, so it's coming through here. And if you can see that, the water is starting to trickle there. Let's see if we can... Uh, okay, so that's coming through. This is the last one. Right, so this chamber will fill up and then hopefully we will get the first trickle out. So but why are we waiting for that? Ah, oh, there you go. Ha ha. The first flow back in. So the whole system's working, there's no leaks. Yeah, baby. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that pipe could be tied up somehow. I'm pretty happy with the fact that it's taken all the weight of the water as well. Wow. Okay, so what the issue was, was we didn't have enough water in here to start with. So I've had to use about five buckets to fill it up. Now, pretty heavy and uh, well, it's, full, it's full of water basically. And um, you can wobbles, but um, it's holding its weight. <laughs> what do you think, Bob? Bob, what do you think? Yeah? Okay, cool. All right, so anyway, so we're, each of these chambers is filled up halfway through. That's a pretty good flow now, look. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Over the moon, it hasn't really leaked anywhere. And um, yeah, we've got a heavy flow of water coming out through here. There it is, there it is. Move, move. Oh. Okay, anyway, there's, there's a, it's like a, it's like a horse going to the toilet there, look, there. Anyway, so the system's obviously working. Um, yeah, fresh water's been flowing in, out, in and out through here. And I'm really, <laughs> I'm really, really happy with that. I'm over the moon to be honest, you've got four meters, got 26 on each 
Five twenty sixes. Okay, so the next stage will be germinating the seeds, and we've got some foam to do that with some holes in. I think I'm going to do kale, although I might do maybe some lettuce or anything really. I don't know. I've got some Chinese cabbage, maybe Chinese kale. I don't know yet, but um, we're going to germinate them. I'll do that in part two and um, show you them being planted and um, and setting the system in um, in motion. I think this is going to be about two weeks before they come out here. And then maybe another week after that before they go into here. And I'll show you now what we're going to do here. Okay, so we've got these. So we've got these little cups here. They're like mini yogurt pots with two slits down them. They came in a big row of 80 from a specialist shop, but I'm sure you could make them out of anything really. So these go in here. A square, the square of this foam. We'll pull that off, we'll put that in here, and then as you can see, that water is going through that. So the, I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know if they wanna be soaked in water constantly. I'll have to find out. I think they do. Anyway, so this, the foam goes in the bottom there with the germinated seed and hopefully starts growing. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Okay, so if you've got any comments, any advice you'd like to give me, any criticism of what I've done, uh, please feel free to put it down in the comments. I'm open to all uh, criticism, as long as it's constructive, or um, if, if you want to give us some advice on uh, what to plant, please do. I've got a load of um, things that uh, are available, so, Please tell me what you think the best thing is to plant. I'm in Thailand and I've got a lot of sun. Um, also, I'm gonna put a, a, a net. Um, so I'm gonna put the, I'll put some rods in here and put a net in so that they're, they're, they won't be so harshly treated by the sun. Hopefully it'll stop maybe some um, pests getting in and maybe stop disease, I don't know. Uh, no virus and um, disease or anything like that. So I'm going to put a net over it to cover it so that it's um, shaded from the sun. And like I said, try and get those pesky um, flies away from it and also try and uh, make sure it doesn't get any disease. But um, yeah. Okay, so that's it from my adventures in Thailand for today. Uh, next time we'll be germinating and uh, planting the seeds. Okay then, see you soon. Bye for now.